What up YouTube, Bobby Survival here. So I was planning on making a video about um like uh more bow footage, but right now um I was looking around my house and then um I was looking to see if I could find some plants to just to eat some uh wild plants. And um what I found were these bunch of these wild onions right here. Now um so one thing you have to watch out for with wild onions is that um, you can dig them up and see if they have the bulbs. But if they look like onions and don't smell like onions, then um, they're toxic. They're another type of toxic plant. But if you um, uh, if they look like onions and smell like onions, um, you can eat it, and it's not toxic. So um, you can either eat it raw which is great in a survival situation if you find these because then you have some stable nutrients with you um you can also boil them in water and um make a liquid and then that liquid you can spread onto your skin in a survival situation or anything and um that is a natural m mosquito repellent so, great in a survival situation, and I would highly recommend this if you're stuck out in the wild or anything like that. Now, me hating onions, these are actually pretty good. I despise onions, but... Yeah. <laughs> these are really good, and you can eat every part of it once you find out that it's non-toxic. So, you can eat these the little pieces of grass right there, the little leaves, the stringy leaves. And the bulbs, I'm not sure if you can see them, but yeah, so that's what you can do. Pretty good meal. Now, I was looking too, and these right here, hold up, let me switch the camera. Work, never mind. Well, anyways, uh, there are some uh, clovers right here and those are also another good source of nutrients and dandelions also if you find some dandelions those are amazing because uh, the leaves are anti-diarrheal you can eat every single part of the dandelion and it, um, a few dandelions actually has more calcium than a whole uh, um, cup of milk so it's amazing when you're out in a survival situation and if you find dandelions stack up on them because if you can't find anything else or you don't have a tool to hunt, that's the best thing that you can find. Alright, peace! I'll uh, put some uh, uh, bow footage up later. Alright guys, so at first, I'm going to do a few shots from this range and then I'm going to do a far shot from back there. Alright, so those are two. Now I'm gonna go back here. And let's see if we can do this. Oh. Alright, I think we hit that. Now I'm gonna do these two. There's one more. Alright. Alright guys, so these were the shots. So these first two, these first two arrows right here, here and here. These uh were the close-up ones, as you can see, very tight grouping. And then these Two at the bottom were the far ones. They just are at the edge of the target. So uh, that's it.